theorem, let x star be the topological product of an indexed family of topological spaces x i to i were i element of the indexed capital I and let y be any topological space. Then a function f from y to x is continuous with respect to the product topology on x. If and only for each i element of capital I, the composition pi i composition f which will be defined from y to x i is continuous. For the proof, let us first assume that f is continuous. We know that projection functions are all continuous since product topology on the Cartesian product of all these spaces x i are defined in such a way that product topology is the smallest topology which makes each projection function continuous. So f is continuous these projection functions pi i are also continuous. Hence, the composition of these continuous functions pi i composition f for each i is also continuous being the composition of continuous functions. Now, for the converse part, assume that pi i composition f is continuous for each i element of i. To prove that f from y to x is continuous, it is enough to show that the inverse image of every element of standard subbase is open in the domain y. Let v equal to pi j inverse of vj where vj is open in the space xj be an arbitrary element of the standard subbase. Consider the inverse image of V and which is equal to F inverse of pi j inverse of Vj and that is equal to F inverse composition pi j inverse of Vj and it can be expressed as pi j composition f whole inverse of vj this is in fact the inverse image of vj under pi j composition f and we know that vj is open in xj and pi j composition f by our assumption is continuous so this is the inverse image of an open set under a continuous function. So, it will be open in the domain of pi j composition f that is y. Thus, we have proved that the inverse image of every element of the subbase of x is open in the domain y. Hence, we can conclude that f is continuous. This completes our proof. Next theorem states that the projection functions are open. For the proof, let us assume that x to is the topological product of the spaces x i to i where i element of capital I. Now, fix an index say j element of the index set i. We have to show that the projection pi j which is defined from x to x j is an open function. That is we need to prove that the image of every open subset of x under the function pi j is open in x j. So, let us consider an open subset of x. Say g we need to show that its image pi j of g is open or that it is a neighborhood of each of its points a typical point of pi j of g is of the form pi j of x where x is a member of g so g is an open subset of x and small x is a point of the open set g since 
G is open, there exists an element, say, capital V of the standard base for the product topology such that X element of V and V is contained in G. We can assume that V is of the form product VI over I element of capital I where VIs are open in X size and VI is equal to XI for all I except I1, I2, etc. I n since every element of the standard base is a large open box. Clearly, pi j of v will be equal to v j since v is equal to product v i. v subset of g implies that pi j of v is contained in pi j of g which implies that Vj is a subset of pi j of g. x element of v implies that pi j of x element of pi j of v which is equal to vj. Thus, we have pi j of x element of vj and vj is contained in pi j of g where vj is an open subset of xj. This implies that pi j of g is a neighborhood of pi j of x. Since pi j of x is an arbitrary element of pi j of g, we can conclude that pi j of g is a neighborhood of each of its points. Therefore, pi j of g is open in xj and hence pi j is an open function since j element of i is arbitrary we can conclude that all projection functions are open this completes our proof